Welcome to the one Hanalei Bay. We're in Kauai, in an area called Princeville on the North Shore. We gutted this old hotel here, it was the St. Regis, but it was kind of, uh, felt like you've landed in LaGuardia. It was like an airport terminal. And so the idea was to make this the best wellness resort in the country. We built this entry structure which it didn't have, it had a Las Vegas entry. It was a gigantic port coucher with big columns and you felt like you've arrived in Las Vegas, which is the antithesis of what Kauai is about. The entire lobby was enclosed. So my idea was to knock the building down. We built a big garden so you, you're here, you're infused with nature. It's kind of like Jurassic Park. And so if you'd been here yesterday, I, I was moving around these plants that you'll see on the quarter because they stage them each three feet apart like a military march. That's not nature, nature's random. And the garden has grown in and it's so beautiful now. We actually don't even need any of these plants. So I, I would move them all somewhere else because this is your backdrop. And I think water and the sound of water is really important to the human mind. So we put in the waterfalls and it's not natural, <laughs> but at least it gives you that you're away feeling. And even the, the lamps are kind of a little contrived for me. I never saw that selection. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have approved of the candle. Okay, why? It doesn't look natural. Does it look like nat wax to you? No. Right, so, and it's lit and it's white. It's white light, it should be warm light. It's the wrong color. And this is our showroom, really. This is, this is what didn't look anything like this. And this is the bar, but come out to the terrace and you'll see why people come to Hawaii. This is Hanalei Bay. This is a, a backdrop that you can't see anywhere I know in the United States or practically in the world. These are the original buildings and we just put, we, we, we put grasses on top because they were solid and this is a vegetable garden for our farm to table chef. Which and did not exist before here. Oh no, no, yeah. that wasn't here. It was just asphalt. So we opened this up, you couldn't see this. Now the windows are the hero and here's uh, breakfast. And uh, we have a 16-room 16 16 spa run by Bamford, which is an organic company from England. And you can see the anatomy gym here. It was a ballroom, and I made it a gym. I don't think anyone's ever done that in the history of the hospital. And I'm not sure it's the right move, <laughs> by the way. So why'd you do it? Because I wanted this to be a wellness resort. I want you to come and immerse yourself in seven days of getting well. I should have connected the spa directly to the gym. They're separate floors. Uh -huh. And I think the connectivity would have been better. So this pool we added, this pool wasn't here. We don't have necessarily enough pools. So we built this adult pool with a jacuzzi. Why do you say you don't have enough pools? You'll see the main pool. Okay. It's just not large enough. Plus, people have kids, but some people come without kids and adults don't love to walk out. Everyone loves to mingle with kids. Right. So having an adult pool, and just look at the pool, look at the view from the pool. <laughs> So this bar, which we weren't sure was gonna work, gets very crowded at night. And you can begin to see how, you know, we had all these plants come over the building. We, I tried to take these flying buttresses off the building. I thought it looked like Star Wars, but we can't, we couldn't do it. Yesterday, these guys were all lined up. There's little totem poles all lined up and I moved them around so they're more random. This guy left his family and came out here. But this will be interesting because this spot is probably the Instagram spot for the hotel. I think we're gonna have a giant turtle made of recycled materials here. And it'll come off a post there and it'll be 15 feet big. And that will be the Instagram photo that most people take. And this is an unbelievable view of Hanalei Bay. And then we'll go downstairs. Even, even the flooring is wrong, by the way. <laughs> what, okay, what's, what's wrong about it? Well, it should be more natural. This looks too contrived. They shouldn't have an edge like that. Can you find that in nature? Answer is no, so you, 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 you struck out. So this was a difficult hallway. And if you notice, we have sand on the wood. <laughs> I'm not sure this has ever been done in a hotel in the world, but I wanted you to transition you on this kind of meaningless corridor to the beach. to 
change the pool. The pool is too close to the ocean okay. according to current codes. Mm -hmm. So if I touch the pool, they would tell me to get rid of it. Okay. That would not be a good thing for a resort. Right. So, so we just tinkered with it and sort of changed the edging and tried to make it feel more natural. Next time you'll see a different beach experience here. So we're gonna cut through the brush. What? The plants, because I want you to I want you to have access to the beach from here. These are my least favorite chairs in the world. These guys. <laughs> Very. <laughs> well, you know what's really bad about them? Nobody sits on them uh -huh. and they mold. So we do weddings and receptions here. We actually don't have a lot of place for that. We're gonna fix that, we're gonna create some more. But with the wedding and reception being next to the, the jungle gym, it's, this isn't what I intended. It's supposed to be more than this. It should be three times the size. The whole thing should be on a platform. I mean, I'm not sure why the baseboard was painted. It's supposed to be, why is the, that natural and that's not natural? That's the kind of stuff that drives me crazy. You're tagging along, listening to us pal. talk. <laughs> um, you're, you're thinking what is he's giving thoughts on Could you hear uh, tweaks I and... <laughs> I, I can hear pieces, but honestly, I love the way his mind works. And I, I've been with him in West Hollywood and in South Beach, and he notices every single detail. And it's fascinating to me, to be honest. That has been a huge benefit. The hardest part of your role is what? <laughs> me? <laughs> no, I, no, not at all. It's, you know, finding the right talent who's passionate about providing service at the level that our guests expect. Most people don't even know what they want to do on vacation. Like they all oh, go sit by the pool. No, we want them to book their kayaks, their paddle boards, their hikes, their wellness retreats. We'll do their fitness, we'll do their, their menus, we'll do their spa treatments. They can rejuvenate, they can resuscitate, they can change their bodies. And we'll be their guide and they'll come back year after year. And that's what we have to do here. We're not running a hotel. We're running a different experience. Do you enjoy more of the satisfaction of like getting there or the process to I like, I like achieving the goal. We have a, an extraordinary resort in one of the most beautiful places on earth. Right. So now we just have to get the word out and then we have to deliver on the promise. Kauai is, you know, the Garden Island, it's, it's beautiful. And it's, um, it's still undiscovered and it's still so natural and it has, in today's world, you wanna get a retreat, is where you come.